Johannes Bofai, and today I'm very happy to be here at uh, St. Walpurgis Church in Großengotthorn. And uh, today I'm allowed to play this wonderful Trost organ in this wonderful and bright church. And this uh, instrument really is very interesting to explore and uh, to play itself. And um, yeah, let's check out these single stops and uh, let's start with the uh, great manual, which is the first one located up here, which is uh, pretty unusual, <laughs> at least uh, in the area where I'm from, but uh, over here it's, it's pretty much normal. Uh, let's start with the principal eight foot, uh, and this sounds like that. There's an octave four. Octave two. And if you want the organ to be a bit uh, brighter, then you add the mixture. You could also add a quint, for example. this wonderful uh, middle German uh, plano sound, which is amazing for playing Bach, for example, or other northern composers. Um, that's a principal plano, and uh, we've also got a flute, for example. There's a four-foot gams horn. very joyful. The game's one by itself sounds like this. Very nice as well. Uh, we've got a 16 foot quinta tune which uh, gives the organ a bit of foundation, sounding like this. It's amazing. And then you've got another string sound which is a, a viola. I'd also try to uh, use it with the flute, for example. gets romantic here, I guess. <laughs> it's very impressive. Then we've got a Nassat, which is actually different to the Quint. The Quint sounds like this, which is used for the principles, for example, uh, sounding like this. <laughs> Then we've got a Nassat, which uh, is the flute equivalent for that. And you can use that to uh, make a solo voice, for example. You could also use the forefoot. Then we've got a sesquialtera, something like this. Very bright. And um, yeah, that's pretty much the uh, stops of the uh, great manual. We've got a stop in the middle over here. It's a trumpet, which sounds very Baroque and very nice. <laughs> If you combine all of this, which you probably shouldn't do because of wind pressure and stuff, uh, it sounds like this. Let's just try it. Uh, up, up, without your trumpet. With 
happy trumpet, it sounds like this. Still works pretty well, I'd say. <laughs> so that's the uh, great manual of this wonderful organ. And then we've got uh, eight stops here on the uh, sides of the case, which actually operate the uh, positive division. We've got a Lieblich Gedacht for that. Uh, there's a forefoot, which is amazing. The forefoot by itself sounds like this. very playful and, and very nice to use. There's a principal forefoot, which is pretty sharp, up here. Used with the eight foot. And then, there's a two foot octave. And of course, there's a mixture. And then we've got a quint to um, have a nice solo voice on this. By itself, it sounds like this with the eight foot. With the four foot. And then we've got the tremolant for actually the whole uh, organ. And I will also show the stops on the grate again. Um, and this makes it uh, sing pretty much, something like this. With the forefoot. Very nice. You even could make like a cornet sound with that. Or even add a mixture. Interesting. So, the great house is a great principle as well. With the tremolant, it's even more amazing. Then you've got the viola. The viola by itself, something like this. The flute. Start with the flute. And the forefoot, of course. Very gentle and very nice. Let's actually try the trumpet with the adrenaline. It's pretty nice actually. You could probably use that as a solo as well, maybe like like this. <laughs> Very 
very cool and interesting. So uh, that's the uh, tremolon stops. And let's actually pull out all stops of the uh, positive and see what that sounds like. Uh, like this, for example. <laughs> and direct and then there's actually some uh, fun stuff to explore as well so you've got a calcantin wecker which actually uh, was used for the people uh, uh, pulling the bellows for the organ which you can still hear that's like a small bell to <laughs> give them the go sign and then we've got uh, two cymbal uh, sterns here so we've got one in C which is spinning up there. And we've got one in G, something like this. Could combine them, of course. And that's... <laughs> yeah, they take a while to shut off. But that's wonderful. So you can actually use them together if you play something in uh, C or G. And it definitely adds to the experience which I will do later, of course, in the Tutti section. But first, uh, let's check out the pedal, which is um, actually pretty large with uh, many transmissions here and there. Um, so the first stop is the Super 16 foot, sounding like this. It's actually pretty present up here, so it's pretty strong. We've got a violon bass, 16 foot. A quinta tune bus, which is probably taken from the grate. But still very usable. And then we've got a Bordon bus, which is the flute from the grate as well. Very nice. We've got a uh, octave bus, eight foot, which is the principal. We've got a Trompeten bass, which is the uh, trumpet. Pretty uh, soft and nice to use as a melody, for example. We've got an octave bass four foot. And then the large posaune, 16 foot. pretty loud up here. So if you combine all of this bit by bit, we get a pretty uh, impressive pedal sound. The violon bass, the flute, eight, trumpet eight, octave. Well, after hearing the pedal sounds of this organ, it's time for the <laughs> for the tutti of the organ, so I've pulled everything out, which you probably shouldn't do on a baroque instrument, but we'll see if it can handle it. And um, I will also activate the, uh, both the cymbal sterns in C and G, and um, yeah, let's see how this organ sounds with everything pulled out. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, short tour of this wonderful Trost organ, and um, yeah, thank you for watching, and I hope you will enjoy this uh, cymbal stern madness.